Okay. Hi, good evening, everybody. Um, thank you so much for uh, joining us in our webinar today. Um, let me see how many of you guys are here today. Um, okay, certificate. Sorry. Oh, questions already. Um, Ravli, uh, I'll answer your questions a little bit later. Okay, so let me see. So, I'm sorry, I was at, um, thank you for joining us today in this very chill evening. And uh, welcome to Engage Crowdfunding webinar hosted by MyStarter. Um, in the meanwhile, um, let's not just have us talking tonight, but um, we would love to know more about you. So in the chat box, in the chat box below at the side of you, could you just type in your name and where you're from so that it's easy for us to actually know who is it and then how we can actually address you correctly? Yes, and um, next, um, another good question is that since our product, uh, this webinar or the topic that we're talking about today is how we're going to benefit retail businesses as a whole. So it would be great to know actually how many of you actually own a retail business. So um, for those who are coming a bit later, um, who might miss this question of mine, I will uh, put this question up again and then you can probably type me, just type ME, I'll just do it here. So ME, just do this if you're interested, if you actually own a retail business. And uh, it'd be great that if you can actually tell like um, your name and then uh, where you're from, so it's easy for us to, re uh, to address you. So. Uh, before we begin in actually two minutes, uh, I would like you to check our Facebook page. So what I'll do is I'll give you our Facebook page just in case you're not sure uh, what it is. And do check out our Facebook page here. Oopsie. All right, um, this one. And what you can do is you could actually maybe just like and follow our page so you can get the latest updates on what we're doing. All right, um, so let's begin. All right. So also, um, those who actually joined us from our uh, previous Facebook Live and webinar, welcome back. Um, for those who are first timers, uh, I would like you to I would like to introduce you to Engage. So Engage essentially provides affordable ownership of high interactive digital loyalty solutions like Starbucks, Starbucks Rewards to global retailers while enabling them to re to, tar to sorry to target their in-store customers by engaging them with personalized rewards based on individual offline analytics. Okay, also, if there is any questions throughout this webinar, please put it into the chat box or comment sections if you're viewing it on Facebook. But the, but the most important part here is that if you are actually interested and would like us to contact you with more information, do type engage, uh, this is how you should do it, E-N-G-A-G-E, -E. just type this, and then we will actually um, follow up with you after this webinar. Okay, so today's webinar consists of two parts. The first part will be conducted by me. Uh, my name is Zenya. I'm so sorry about it. I didn't introduce myself earlier. Um, conducted by me, myself, Zenya. So I'll be covering the importance of loyalty program for retail businesses. And the second session will be conducted by Mr. William, representing my starter, who will be elaborating, who will be elaborating on the investment opportunities which engaged customers can benefit from. So without further ado, I would like to invite uh, Mr. William to give us a short introduction of what my starter is and what he actually does. Thank you. William, on to you for a while. Hello, Zen Yang. Yes, hi, William. Can you hear me hi, uh, hi. clearly? Yep, yep, loud and clear. Loud and clear. Huh? Okay, so now is my session. Yes. Okay, hi, uh, everyone here. Uh, my name is William Lian. I'm the uh, co founder and uh, CEO of uh, MyStarter. Okay, so MyStarter is a recognized market operator with this uh, security commission, uh, Malaysia. So we are a uh, legal. A platform for this uh, ECF. Eh? So we have gotten our this uh, license since uh, May 2019. Okay. Um, so uh, just uh, briefly introduce myself. So I has uh, about 30 years uh, working experience uh, with this uh, corporate. And uh, notable, uh, I was a SGM for Acer Group of Company and also the uh, SGM for Harvey Norman and uh, all the time in this uh, IT and uh, e commerce side. Eh? And uh, for the past few years, I have been uh, helping the SME and also the startup. Uh, and uh, now uh, focus on this uh, ECF, okay? So as you can see, uh, now the, uh, especially during this uh, COVID-19, uh, uh, now the lately, I think more and more uh, people are interested in the investing into this uh, ECF, uh, early startup. And why people want to invest into this uh, ECF? I think the reason is simply uh, 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 quite obvious uh, with this uh, high return because it's early stage. And also, of course, I think with a higher return, the risk also higher a bit. Eh? So, but in the past, even uh, with this uh, early stage and higher return and higher risk, but the opportunity is only open to uh, VC 
and now uh, it might make available to everyone uh, layman like us, uh, you know, ordinary uh, retailer, a uh, retail investor. And so because of uh, ECF uh, available from uh, this uh, Security Commission of Malaysia. Uh, the crowdfunding in Malaysia, basically they have uh, four types. Eh? So simply they have this uh, donation. Okay, so I think maybe some of you have experience with this donation when you are donating certain amount of money uh, into this uh, platform. So uh, basically you do not get anything because it's a, uh, it's a donation. Eh? So you probably get a thank you note and uh, so forth. Okay, so the second one will be uh, quite popular in Malaysia also. It's a lending platform called P2P. And this uh, P2P uh, platform when you're investing into this uh, company for a certain amount of uh, money. And it could be a smaller sum also, you know, 5,000, 10,000. And uh, at the end of the period, you know, so maybe a shorter term, uh, so uh, three months, six months, or even one year. So you can end up uh, getting a certain uh, percentage of uh, this uh, interest, which could be higher than FD. And this is another option of uh, crowdfunding. The third one will be a reward-based uh, crowdfunding. This is where uh, my starter started uh, in this uh, 2013. Uh, so we started with uh, 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 this uh, reward-based uh, crowdfunding company. So for the past uh, seven years, I think we have done a lot of uh, uh, reward-based and quite experienced into this uh, reward-based uh, crowdfunding. And uh, so you are investing a certain amount of money. So uh, in return, you are getting back the product or services. And this is quite straightforward. Huh? Uh, so the fourth type, which is uh, we call it uh, ECF, uh, equity crowdfunding. So equity crowdfunding, uh, so when you're investing into this uh, early startup uh, such as uh, Engage Fling, uh, so not only you're getting back certain uh, equity share, and also at the same time, you're getting some reward uh, such as uh, services and also the product. Right? So this is where my starter is focused on this uh, uh, ECF. Right? Okay, so our track record uh, for the seven years since we our company founded in 2013, uh, we have done more than 1,000 uh, campaign uh, for this uh, product-based uh, crowdfunding. So we are quite experienced with all this uh, uh, product base and how to introduce the uh, product uh, to the market and how are we going to uh, present the, the project to all the interested uh, party. Eh? So throughout these uh, seven years, we also attracted about close to 40,000 uh, supporters and also people investing into our platform. Eh? And in return, they are getting back the product and uh, services. Eh? Uh, ECF, uh, we as uh, just how we mentioned, we get the license last year and we start operating, uh, uh, go live in this uh, December last year, 2019. So ever since until now, close about 10 months, we have successfully funded uh, eight projects uh, since uh, then and uh, raised uh, close to about 12.3 million right, in total fund size. Uh. And uh, because of the crowdfunding, so uh, we have gathered almost uh, more than 1,000 investors uh, for, the, for this uh, eight project. An average per project, we are looking at about uh, more than 100 investors. And this is a small sum of money and from all the people uh, surrounding us, uh, you know, people who are familiar with the founder, uh, such as uh, people who are familiar with this uh, Zen Yang, uh, coming from the close group of our people. Okay? So in this uh, ECF, basically, we are focusing on uh, two parties. Uh, one is the issuer, which is the project owner. Okay? So how we onboard this uh, project owner, so when they are applying to this uh, ECF uh, crowdfunding. So our company will do a thorough uh, due diligence. Okay, so to find out that this uh, project are uh, 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 feasible, uh, the project are genuine, the project are potential, and also uh, reliable, and also trustworthy, and so on. Uh, so which has a potential for return. And second part, we also do the valuation. You know? So not only our company is doing it, so we also engage a third party professional to come up with this valuation. And together with this uh, Zen Yang, the company also providing their expecting uh, uh, valuation eh? and also their financial roadmap and uh, how much they want to raise uh, for this uh, during this uh, campaign and what is their term sheet and how are they going to utilize the money and for expansion. And last but not least, once the project are funded successfully, we also engage our this external coaching uh, professional uh, uh, CFO and also some of the accounting firm to come up with a coaching program so that we can monitor their progress after the uh, crowdfunding uh, ended. Okay. And, uh, but because this uh, project, uh, we call it uh, early, early stage, uh, so during this, uh, once they have attraction for a couple, couple of years, the company need the money in order for further expansion. 
So meeting the founder, uh, the founder and know the team, which is uh, very, very important. Eh? So because, uh, so the company is on the growing stage. So we are depending on the founder to have a very strong uh, execution to, to progress the business. So meeting the founder, such as in this uh, Zoom and also on uh, this uh, Facebook, which is very, very important that we need to have a confidence and how well this uh, founder can carry out the expansion plan. Eh? So that's why, uh, the solution is to invite uh, like-minded people like you okay, who are joining their business program that you, you are agree with their business plan, you are agree with their business model. Right? So uh, for Engage Print, they are focused on this uh, reward-based and loyalty program. So where we will also encourage their customer, their prospect okay, who want to use their product to come in, in not only as an investor, but you are coming in as a customer as an ambassador, when you're using the product, you give them uh, the feedback and helping them to grow along the way and also to rectify some of the problem to give them the certain uh, feedback. And also we are asking the supplier and also the business partner they who can uh, build the ecosystem together with this uh, Zhenyang and to grow the company to a next level and to further funding for the next round. Okay. So in order to do that, also Zhenyang also not only uh, providing this uh, equity to the investor, at the same time also is providing this uh, reward. Lah. So meaning that by investing certain amount into this uh, uh, project, so you are also able to use the uh, product as well. And if, for example, you are not uh, a retailer, you are, the product are not suitable for you, so I'm sure uh, this uh, company will also allow you to transfer the reward and to the people that who need the, the, uh, the product, okay? So on the other side of the, this uh, issuer, there's uh, investor, people like you, okay? Uh, people like you. So investor basically under this uh, SC uh, regulation, there are three types of uh, this, uh, uh, this uh, investor. Eh? So uh, as long as you are 18 years old and above, eh? so anyone in Malaysia, uh, not just uh, Malaysia, actually it also open up to international, foreigner also able to invest in this uh, uh, engage. Uh, so for any retail investor, a maximum of uh, 5,000, you are able to invest into this uh, project. Uh, per project, uh, it total up to about 50,000. So within uh, one year time, within uh, 12 months. Okay, so meaning that every project, the maximum you can invest is 5,000 if you are retailer. Uh, but the good news is, if you are an angel investor, so meaning that your personal income has more than 180,000, all the combined uh, family income with more than 250,000. So you are able to invest up to 500,000 uh, within a 12 month period, yeah, if you are an angel investor. Uh, for the highest uh, category, we call it a sophisticated investor. Eh? So there's no restriction on the investment amount. Okay, So as long as your personal income is uh, 300,000, or combined family income with more than 400,000, or the net asset with $3 million, eh? So you are able to invest any amount that you like. Uh, so we, even though uh, this, uh, this uh, requirement is set by the Security Commission, but and, uh, currently, uh, all you need to do is a uh, self-declare, eh? so self-declaration, and just put a tick on this uh, box that you are in retail. You classify yourself as an angel or sophisticated investor that you're able to invest according to this amount. So there's no document or no proof of your income uh, needed at this moment. Eh? So just make aware that you know the risk and the amount that you are able to invest and uh, you are well aware of the amount lah, and also the risk involved. Okay? So you do not need to submit any document to us. Also, you do not need to submit any document to Zhenyang, uh, the company or the security commission. Okay? So uh, because it's an early stage uh, startup company, so the the return is higher, the, uh, the risk also involved. Right? So that's why uh, for this uh, investing for uh, people like you, so we hope that you can adopt a certain uh, strategy. And first of all, you become their customer. Yeah? So because uh, for uh, equity crowdfunding investment, it's not like investing in the share or investing into uh, unit trust uh, where you can come in and out uh, so easily within short period of time. So investing into ECF is a bit longer term, maybe it could be up to three years, five years, or even a more, uh, eight years. Okay? So it depends on when the company have a next plan of uh, funding. Also depends on when the company has an M&A, or also probably they will go for IPO. This is where you exit. Eh? 
So be a customer that you are not so much on the investor, that you are not bugging on this uh, uh, founder that look for short-term return. Uh. So basically, you are looking for appreciation of the equity. Eh? And also, we will advise that you uh, uh, invest in a smaller amount. And uh, for Zhenyang's uh, project, which is about 2005, uh, the smallest amount, also you can invest up to $20,000 or $30,000 and even higher. So the small amount of money depending on your income, on your uh, asset and also on your ability. Uh. So where this uh, money that you do not need to use it you know, for urgent, urgent basis. Eh? So you can uh, allocate this uh, money for the next uh, three, five years. Uh where you do not need this money to spend. Okay? And another way to uh, uh, invest into this uh, ECF is to diversify your this investment. Yeah? So let's say you have uh, 50,000, so we will advise that you diversify into a, a 10 project. Uh, uh, every project may be uh, 5,000, right? so this will reduce your risk and also in, 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 uh, increase your this, uh, return. Right? So this is where we encourage for the investment deal. Uh, for both uh, investor and also the uh, project owner, so we can see that this is an uptrend uh, also because especially during this uh, COVID-19 and during this uh, pandemic, so a lot of uh, investment opportunity are, are affected uh, such as the share market, the property and, uh, and so forth. So investing into this uh, ECF become uh, more, uh, more potential. Eh? So that's why I think we can see that more investors actually uh, the FD interest also uh, so much are lower. That's why we can foresee for the next year, the market demand for investment and also the project will get getting a lot more. So during this uh, period for the last quarter of this year, actually our company has a big plan. Yeah? So we are planning to review up to about 1,000 projects uh, starting from uh, last week. Eh? So for the next uh, 12 months, we are going to review 1,000 uh, projects. And we hope by reviewing this uh, project, we can shortlist uh, 50 quality projects uh, such as uh, Engage Green uh, at the end of uh, 2021. So we hope to uh, have uh, 50 successful uh, funded projects with up to about 100 million uh, fund size uh, for our 2021 uh, uh, business plan. So this is where we can see is uh, uh, doable. And uh, so because I think the demand is higher, there's uh, more, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, crisis proof, uh, pandemic proof uh, uh, industry. So where this uh, money come in, they can actually grow much uh, faster, uh, such as uh, this uh, engage a uh, uh, SaaS model where they, they can bring in this royalty program and also the reward program, which can benefit a lot of retail, they who go online and so forth. Right? So that's why I think uh, investing into this uh, ECF and uh, it's an opportunity open to everyone. Okay. Uh, so this is uh, my short uh, uh, sharing and introduction about ECF. So later part, when you have any uh, question about this, uh, how much to invest and so on, I think we can come in and to answer your question. Okay, that's uh, the, the end of my uh, short sharing. Uh, okay. So, hey, uh, thank you, William. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Thanks for, thanks for your introduction, uh, explaining what ECF is, because uh, we've been having quite a hard time explaining to people what ECF is. So yeah. Um, yeah, with your explanation, I think it does uh, help a lot in uh, yeah. shortcut, shortcut what you need to do in terms of explaining to our potential investors. <clears throat> All right, okay, so um, hi everyone, it's me again. I'm sorry I didn't introduce myself properly in, earlier. I'm Zenyang, I'm actually CEO and founder of Engage. So um, my, my pitch today or my presentation today will cover, um, I would say two main things. The first one will be talking about the importance of loyalty program for retail businesses in Malaysia and how we could actually use it um, to benefit our, our retail business because I'm actually a retail business owner myself. So Engage was developed because I own a restaurant and I needed a solution and there weren't any outside that fits my requirement. So we built that and then once we built, we realized that, hey, you know, this, is, this could be something that retailers around the world could actually benefit from. So um, from that, then I'll move on to um, what, we, our, what is our product like and then I'll move on to um, the investment opportunities means coming from, it means we are wanting you to be our uh, customer and, in, and as a bonus, you actually get to own part of the company and potentially even get a, um, for us, our projection is 10x return in, in five years time. So without further ado, I'll begin my presentation. So I will do a share screen now. So, I'll, okay, let me see, share screen. All right, so um, yeah. Do you guys see my screen? Um, all clear? Is it um, five ways to build a solid loyalty program? Yeah. Okay, yeah. all right. So let's dive straight into it. 
So this is the education side, the not content side that I would like to share. So let's drive, let's dive straight into it. Firstly, I would like to talk about the five ways to build a loyalty program. Did you know that 77% of customers agree that having a loyalty program with a brand helps them stay loyal to the brand? Statistics shows that that shows two facts. Fact one, loyalty programs are still very relevant. Customers want to be recognized for the loyalty that they are giving to a retailer. Fact two is that traditional loyalty programs like the one that our parents use, they don't work anymore. So there are actually five elements retailers can use to build a successful loyalty program for the modern age. The first element, incentive, which is instead of incentivizing customers with financial rewards, retailers want to incentivize engagement with the brand. Traditional earn and spend programs only incentivize when you spend. But that's not how customers define loyalty today. Customers want, want more than just loyal, sorry, um, customers are much more loyal in any other ways than by just giving money. They want to be incentivized for the 77% of the loyalty that they're giving to a brand. That's, that is a very important element to build a modern loyalty program. The next element will be the rewards value. Again, traditional loyalty programs have focused very much on the financial angle, very transactional based. For example, vouchers, discounts, and free products. We're not saying it doesn't work. For example, uh, sorry, we're not saying it doesn't work, but customers' behavior has changed. Customers are much more interested in experience. Their loyalty is based more on value than on price. They're looking for things which simplifies their life. As time, as time has become <clears throat> sorry, more important than money, Loyalty programs have to stay loyal, relevant, and memorable. For example, going to an invite-only, money-can't-buy event in a fashion retailer is obviously, obviously something customers will remember and tell their friends about as compared to receiving an email with 10% discounts, which we receive multiple each day. The third element, value. Trend shows that customers are making purchases, purchase decisions not on a value, value of for money basis, but emotional to a brand. Customers make purchase decisions based on how they align the value to the brand. For example, ethical productions and sustainability. Say you're a brand who wants to support your customers to stay healthy. You can reward them for, for working out. So this would be the three elements on how you can structure a loyalty program. The, the, the things that are visible to in terms of rewards, incentives, and brand behind the program. But besides these three elements, there are two other mechanics which can up, upgrade the whole loyalty program make it even more effective in changing your customer behavior. Okay, the first mechanics is the loyalty mechanics, which is just a clever trick to improve customer conversion for the program. Simple example is gamification. It is based on the customer's response to a target or an achievement or the moment to play and compete. For example, like those silver, gold, and platinum tiers. These are already elements of gamifications and competitiveness. Besides gamifications, you can also make use of urgency. If you have promotions that's happening in the next two days or less, this will give sense of urgency to your customers to react. Another one, sorry, another, uh, another one you can use is exclusivity. A limit, say for example, a limited club where only certain people can enter. Or you can use fear of missing out. A strong emotional factor that actually led to the emergence of social media. Why? Because people like. People tend to think that I want to have what other people have. But to finally understand who we are really engaging with, data is the lifeblood of any economy, especially so in loyalty because relevance and personalization is key. Which brings us to the final layer of a successful loyalty program. First, you will need to collect data, touch points that your customers has had with your brand. Then connect the data into a single customer view or a unified customer profile. So now that you understand that for every one of your customers, what are their behavior, preferences, and patterns? Now, you turn it into some actionable insights with the help of AI and machine learning. You can then create algorithms that recommends and predicts the most relevant interactions and deliver it to the customers. This help proves personalization rewards to customers. Say for example, right? For some customers, a discount is needed to make them make the next purchase. But for customers who are already loyal, they don't need a discount. They need something experiential. So as a summary here, we ultimately want to drive all of our customers up the loyalty ladder from those that sometimes purchase something to the one that actively goes out and promotes your brand. For every different step, there's a different technique and objective. So by knowing where your customers are, 
you can adjust your actions. Now, that was, now that we know the framework to build a successful loyalty program, let's take a look at how Starbucks did theirs. According to Starbucks Malaysia, the number of registered cards now stands at 1.6 million since it was introduced in 2014. And currently, about 45% are actively using it to make purchases at its outlets. Users will be able to store an unlimited number of cards using their mobile app, and each card can hold up to 500 ringgit. So how did it succeed? Through six secret strategies, and we've got them all listed out for you. So number one here is that implementing customer feedback. Starbucks started collecting customers' data, over 190,000 of them by 2015, and used AI and machine learning technology, allowing the system to make decision based on the customer feedback. So what's the secret here? Well, this, this gives customers a more personalized experience. Well, according to studies, 63% of customers expect personalization. And based on the stats, customers feel recognized and valued when they receive personalized offers. And for their second strategy, order and pick up later. Loyalty programs can learn from this strategy, allowing customers to pay, place and pay for an order online and then picking it up at a convenient time. Not only does it make convenient for customers, but also em allow employees to prepare the orders earlier. This immensely helps improve customer service. So what's the secret here? To ensure, for, for us, right? To ensure that your program provides convenience. The third strategy here, exclusivity and recognition. Starbucks made their loyal customers feel special. How? By giving them monthly double star days. Once a month, customers get to earn double the points or a reward for every 125 stars. So what's key here is that, the key takeaway here is that not to make it simple for customers to get exclusive rewards. They need to feel special when they're spending more than others. Ensure that your exclusive customers are the only privileged ones who receive the reward. The fourth strategy, recognizing and rewarding the right customer. Starbucks new loyalty program points collections are much more achievable. Customers achieve two stars for, you, for $1 compared to the initial one star, one visit, which, they can, which customers can easily exploit. They made it easier and worth the customer's, customer's time to collect the stars, adding on to the double star days. They made their loyalty program very, very customer friendly. They managed to filter out those customers who were exploiting the initial, initial program. They can now target customers who are truly valuable to the company. The secret here is that filtering out customers who exploit the programs the program and keeping those who are truly loyal to your brand. The fifth one here is personalization. Personalization is key. Starbucks offer their loyal customers access to the tier benefits. Gold members get to drink any size or any pastry for 125 stars or a free birthday rewards. They give customers free drinks on their birthdays to make their special days extra special. Product customization, so they allow customers to personalize, sorry, Starbucks actually personalized um, suggestions based on the customer's previous orders and special offers. So the loyal members can find personalized offers enabling them to easily redeem them through their app. The key takeaway here is that we want to make every customer feel special and different from every other customer. So the final strategy here, strategy here is timely engagement. Starbucks kept their customers always interested and intrigued. They remind their customers about upcoming offers and special uh, during specific times. Like for example, their happy hour campaign pushes notifications to the customers for a happy hour drink. This, the final secret here is that keeping your brand consistently in their mind, ingrain your brand into their brains. When they think of coffee, they think of Starbucks. So let me summarize what we have learned, learned from a successful customer loyalty program like Starbucks. Providing only the most exclusive and loyal members exclusive rewards. Incorporating the redeem ahead feature. Keeping the loyal pro loyalty program budget friendly. Balancing between customers who are really loyal to you versus those who are just in for a freebie. Again, personalization is key. Converting your loyal customers into your sales personnel is the ultimate goal. It's free marketing, right? But how? by personalizing some of the rewards so they truly feel like you care about them. Owning a loyalty program like Starbucks, especially in 2020 with COVID-19 still lingering around, will be the best investment for any restaurant or business. It will, keep your, it will help you build a following 
for your brand and make customers feel special. All right, so let's look, let's look back. Let's go back six years when digital loyalty programs all started in Malaysia. When all started in 2014 when Starbucks introduced their digital loyalty programs into Malaysia. 2015 was a standard Malaysia style. It was a thing of separate failure. So when no one failed, the copying began. For the next three years, all the other medium to big brands started to launch their own versions. Brands such as Papa Rich, Tea Life, Sushi King, and even Sing King had their own versions. So what does this mean for us in 2020? It means that customer engagement and loyalty is not just a good to have, but a must have strategy for retail businesses. SME businesses are the backbone of any economy, such as our neighborhood saloons, car wash, cafes, and food trucks. This untapped market of customer retention is worth 1.6 billion ringgit in Southeast Asia and 468 million annually in Malaysia alone. Now, what if we said that we have made it possible for every merchant and retailer to own a solution? With Engage, merchants can exploit an array of loyalty features. They can mix and match up to a total of 388 unique campaign combinations suitable for any business strategy. To top it off, AI technology is used to segmentize customers. Now imagine every retailer like you and me are now armed with a tool able to recognize customers and rewarding them independently. Now, wouldn't that be great? So what is our product here? Well, we provide affordable ownership of high interactive digital loyalty solutions like Starbucks, like Starbucks Rewards to global retailers while, enab while enabling them to target their in-store customers by engaging them with personalized rewards based on their individual offline analytics. So let me explain how our secret sauce works. So step one, merchants using Engage can make use of all 10 of our customer engagement features mix and match up to a total of 388 unique campaign combinations to suit the customer segment. We then slice and dice all the customer data collected from your campaigns to create an independent data model of each customer. We collect three key matrices, recency to know when was the last visit, frequency to know how often they visited, and monitoring to know how much they've spent. And this is where our AI tech kicks in. The system automatically segmentizes their customers, allowing them to re-engage existing customers with personalized campaigns through our data-rich industrial data trend. Why? Because we believe that engaging loyal customers should and must be different from dominant customers. Now, let's see how we actually make money. We generate our revenue through a subscription model, starting from 49 to 139 ringgit per month, basing on the number of merchants and features. On top of that, Businesses can also purchase prepaid credits required for the AI segmentation and re-engagement feature at 10 cents per engagement. And once a retailer expands and requires a more personalized solution, they can, they can then opt for a white labeling solution starting from 50 ringgit per solution. But although we're very new in the market, we're already in four countries benefiting over 1,300 consumers, resulting in 2,300 redemptions worth over a million ringgit. Our hard work has definitely paid off as we have successfully received several awards such as the top startup in Slango for 2019, the best AI and machine learning startup in Malaysia for the same year. We were also selected as the pioneering startup for retail technology for CyberJaya Smart City Initiative and also nominated as Malaysia's tw top 12 AI startup earlier this year. We will also like to highlight that we have been recognized for our work and featured by several renowned media channels such as Astro and The Star. All right, so finally to the offer, right? So here's our offer. We are offering you a lifetime software access from just 2,500 ringgit. No recurring fees, but also a potential to earn back 25,000 ringgit through our equity crowdfunding campaign, which will be expiring, which, which, we, which we will explain more in detail shortly. And to even sweeten the deal, we will also be offering a one-time reward for those who are participating tonight. A free consultation and campaign setup worth 499 ringgit. Terms and conditions apply. Now, let us look at how all of you can join us. Uh, no, sorry, let's, now let's look at how all, of you, how all of you can not only be our user and customer of our product, but automatically an investor too. So based on, based on industrial benchmarking, Engage is valued at 4.3 million ringgit at 10 ringgit per share. Our minimum funding, funding target is 450,000 
whereas our maximum is at 1 million, giving you almost 19% ownership of the company. So let's see where the funds will be used. With major tech development completed and validated, only 15% will be used for product enhancements, 30% will be used for advertising and marketing, and being a SaaS business model, the majority of the funds at 55% will be used for operations. So here's a big question. How will you be able to cash out? Well, our exit strategy is to be acquired through a merger and acquisition with potential partners with the intention to have access to tens of thousands of on-ground retail data. Engage can potentially be acquired by four segments. The first, the media and advertising industries such as come from, by companies such as Rap Asia, or point of sale solutions such as Storehub and Kuskasby Berhad. For the e-commerce segment, Fave, Wix, and Shopify will be on our site. The last segment will be the payment, e-wallet, payment gateways, and even larger loyalty systems. Company, companies such as Capillary Technologies, Touch and Go, Boost e-wallet, and not forgetting GrabPay. If all enough said, what's most important here is that can you make money by investing in us? While well, being an early stage startup with a high growth potential in the Southeast Asia market, join us early for an early for a great deal. From our projections, we are we will we'll 10x your investment in five years. In other words, for every 2,500 ringgit, you will exit with 25,000 ringgit. Don't just believe in what we said. This figure is based on an actual MA of a similar solution in the West, but an even higher multiple at 80x. Hence, we're confident that 10x is very achievable. Keep in mind that Engage can also be acquired by global companies with a stronger currency. So interested, you can now be a part of Engage journey from just 2,500 ringgit. But if you own a retail chain or a franchise, you would like, and you would like to your very own personalized customer engagement solution worth 50,000 ringgit, we've got a perfect package for you, 80,000 ringgit. For more seasoned investors, there will be a limited package where you will be rewarded bonus shares. How much shares? 50% shares. Yep, that is 50,000 ringgit worth of rewards. And that's not inclusive of the shares which is forecasted to grow 10 times. So in summary, with just 100,000 ringgit, you might potentially be receiving 1.5 million ringgit in return in five years. Not too bad, right? So here's our team. So our team is currently four strong. I myself, I have 10 years experience of being a serial entrepreneur. I'm also an owner of F&B retail business. So prior to this, I've also raised 3 million ringgit in investment and I've exited two companies. Our COO, Cheryl Lee, has three years experience as the head of user interface and PR of the company. Our CTO, Kelvin Yap, has five years experience as a tech developer. And our CFO, Amrin, who is also our investor, has 13 years in international share market investments. So uh, that's from me. So I'm, I'm, I hope everyone uh, is clear. Um, how do I proceed with oh. Okay, um, William, so uh, should we do a Q&A now? Very comprehensive uh, sharing of your, this uh, project. Yeah, I hope it wasn't too boring. No, 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 no. It's very, very good solution. I um, believe that those are people that who are in the retail and also into this, uh, what if I, uh, any businesses, small businesses, they cannot own their own solution, also develop their own solution. I think this is uh, such a, you know, affordable solution, you know. So anybody can give it a try by investing into this project. Not only you become the shareholder, at the same time, I think you can use the product for free. Right? Yeah. So I think this, uh, this kind of opportunity, not many uh, projects can offer, you know, which is a very practical, very useful uh, uh, product, I would say. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I think uh, before I go to, I think it was a question earlier on. I think that one yeah. will be directed towards, uh, to you, uh, William. I think it was by Bradley Jane Salazar. Um, the question is, by the end of this discussion, can we get, oh, certificate, oh, sorry, this is, they thought it was a course. I'm sorry, this is not actually a course, but we're just sharing content today and also a uh, investment opportunity for Engage. So sorry about that. Um, let me see any questions here. All right. Okay, oh, before that, um, I would like to share something actually. Um, I think that I tried to make the deck shorter. Let me share something. One second. Oh, um, yeah, actually I wanted to do, if, if actually um, time permits, right, I would like to do a, 
a demo actually. Would that be all right? Yeah, yeah. There's a people asking for demo. Is it able to demo here? Yeah, I can do a discrete demo. So okay. um, that would be good. All right, so uh, let me start off with, so Engage is actually a, uh, we are actually a CRM software. So we are initially a software and we are backed up by apps. An app to actually provide a more remote kind of management. So imagine that any retailers around the world could just um, sign up and log in and use the CRM anywhere, anywhere in the world and actually create their campaigns and actually launch. So um, remember we talked about some of the uh, features that Starbucks used. So we actually yeah. have most of the features. So if you think you want to, if you have a coffee shop, you want to copy what they have, yeah, you might potentially be able to copy their strategy. This so, afternoon we went for one uh, quite famous uh, cafe in this uh, Taman Desa. Yep. Uh, surprisingly, they don't have any royalty program. Yeah. Customers yeah. keep coming back and are quite open to go back. But uh, unfortunately, they do not manage manage the yep. customer, just uh, take for granted the customer will come back, you know, all the time. Yes. Yeah. Right? So uh, that's why I, you know, sounds it to the boss, I think there's a solution available. Yep. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, so Thanks. I think in the market, there's a lot of people not aware of this uh, product actually, you know, can subscribe rather than develop, uh, spend a lot of money, you know, engage the software, how to develop a, a customized solution for them. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, actually, if you do um, to look at it, right, um, in, in, I, I, I was, I was reading an article, so they were saying that uh, loyalty programs are very prominent in the Western side because um, users tend to become like I was mentioning earlier, they don't just want monetary benefits, they want to have an experience. Right. So uh, I would say maybe a couple of years back, we Malaysians would be like, ah, it's all right, we just want, no, money is more important. But then if you realize that they're actually more and more uh, bigger brands, uh, especially in shopping malls, they're actually launching their own programs now. Because um, you know why the trend is that they realize that it's getting more and more expensive to actually acquire new customers. So retaining them is actually way cheaper yeah, to do yeah. so. It's so yeah. much easier to retain the, uh, the reward to the existing customer because this customer already uh, consider very happy customer. Yep. We like to spend more if you can give me some uh, certain recognition, not so much on the reward. Yes. Uh, more recognition and you know who I am. I think the customer can really, you know, uh, go back to the same store. Yep. Yeah. So uh, yeah, uh, let me do a quick share. Uh, I won't take too much, take too long on anyone's time today. So I'll just do a screen share. Okay, are you guys seeing this thing that looks like a CRM-ish yeah. kind of thing? Okay, so this is actually our CRM. So it, this is actually a uh, dashboard of uh, my own shop. So if you see right here, just imagine that you can see whatever that's happening in the shop. Those people who, who you are actually engaging and also their status. So you can choose to engage them differently based on their status. So just, okay, how do I put it this way? Imagine engage as like a social media for your retail shop, but with, re but with loyalty. So what you can do is normally uh, whenever you start customers, um, uh, businesses create their own information, talk about yourself, your location, uh, where you're based, your social media links and everything. Just set this up. And then you can do your app design, you can put in your business hour, um, at shop gallery, if you're a restaurant, you can put pictures of your shop, of a, sorry, of your menus, if you're a saloon, of the hairstyles that you've actually done before. And yeah, set it up. And then whatever, what happens is that users who actually come into your shop, they need to just scan your QR code. It will pop out and then you just show like a, your homepage of your shop. So it looks as if um, people who come to my shop, they actually feel and think like uh, the things that, they, sorry, the thing that engage belongs to my shop. So that's our goal here. We want merchants and retailers to actually feel like as if they own the thing. Like we do not want to seem like we are like Faith or, or uh, those marketplaces, right? Okay, so let me go to the more fun part here. So, so the engagement is the fun part here. So let me just go to rewards. Remember, uh, rewards is something where you, all we have to do is just, uh, we have got six rewards here. Yeah? Uh, remember we talked about Starbucks, so I have this happy hour reward. So if I want to activate my happy hour reward at my shop, this is immediate. So if I turn it on now, if you have my app, if you're following me on Engage, right? Uh, sorry, if you're following Ye Cuisine, my shop name on Engage, you actually see these happy hour widgets pop up and then you just have to key in your title, which day, the time, put a thumbnail and update, boom, it's, it's live. So if I want to take it off, all I have to do is just this. Oh. Yeah, it's that quick. So <clears throat> imagine if it's just something you want to clear off your shelf, right? You got some old stocks you want to settle off. Let's do a, something, let's do a deal, pop it out. Uh, notify your uh, existing customers and let them know about your good deal. 
So this is the reward side. So as of now, we have six, we have more coming up. We're talking about share, some gamifications. So more and more will come out. Whoever can, maybe some, uh, whoever can come up with good ideas, we'll build it and then you guys can use it. So next thing is what we're talking about. The more powerful side of things is um, we have three main achievements. Achievement is something that uh, customers will need to actually achieve for it, right? To actually like slightly like, like what Starbucks did, a bit of gamification here and there. So we yeah, have this thing I think the most common one is uh, what the uh, salon do is a uh, sticker. Eh? You okay, can yeah. just collect 10 stickers and then you get one free. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> so, that, so that's the stamp card version. So we come yeah, up with another thing card. called the uh, journey stamp card. So where you can actually do pit stops. You can do like 20 stamps and maybe stamp number seven, you do one uh, a small pit stop. Yeah. Stamp number 14, you do. So you keep them coming, but at the end, you make sure you provide them with a more bigger kind of reward. Lah. Mm. So you, you also you, mentioned that you have a combine of about what? Up to 388 different uh, rewards. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So what you do is you actually take, um, uh, uh, I'm sorry, I just go through one more here. So this yeah, advanced sure. privilege card. Okay. I think most of us might be familiar with Grab and then we might be collecting points on Grab rewards. So what we did was we actually took what Grab reward had and then we built that and we just put it into our system. So now you imagine a, a hawker store I don't know, somewhere in Kuchai Lama could actually build their own, use a uh, build their own loyalty system through a tiered program. So this is how it looks like. So you can build your silver, gold, platinum tier, and then yeah. you can create, you collect what kind of points they need, how much, how, sorry, uh, one ring equals to how many points, and then the points they need to actually reach those tiers, and the rewards that they can actually redeem with the points. And even the points could actually be, sorry, it could, the rewards could be controlled by the level also. Why mm -hmm. I say that is important is because Say, for example, if say, William, you were previously, you were a platinum card holder, but you didn't come for 90 days. What happens? I'll drop you to go. You maintain your points, but the, but the reward you receive is only up to gold level reward. So you can control in that sense. So you provide a kind of gamifications kind of experience. Okay, so now back into the 388 combination. So you talk, so let's look here. We've got six here, right? And then we've got three here. So... Uh, let me give you an example. My shop has got, I've tried many combinations before, but right now my shop is using welcome reward as a bait. Mm. So uh, what they do is they get a 10% discount for minimum spending of 30 ringgit. So once mm. that happened, so um, my shop sells to also to get you three stamps. So what happened in three stamps is that it then goes into the stamp card. So they collect three stamp card, right? So three stamp card, they suddenly they have activated the stamp card already. We've got something that can draw them to continue coming to it. So then we also said, you know, since it's 30 ringgit, why not you collect some points on our, this card system? So that's just one combination. You can do so many more combinations. Wow. The way you can, you can use happy hour to entice them. You can use, depending on your business. So like I said, um, we are not here to tell retail business how to do their business. We do not know how you run your business. We do not know your but customers. This is not a beta version. This is already a live version, right? It's a live version, yes, exactly. They can use anytime they subscribe, they can use it right away? Yep, yep, exactly. Oh, that's very powerful. Yeah. So um, this is a solution we have built. Um, it's very effective. My shop alone, actually, 20% um, of my sales is coming from uh, recurring sales. Oh. Huh. Yeah. That's so amazing. Using, I think you already have a very good testimony right, for your yeah. own shop. Yeah, I'm only using, I'm only using uh, uh, free, lah, but if anyone's, yeah. uh, but, for, but anyone who's, who is interested, um, uh, interested for this so we actually have this lifetime whatever you see here plus an app plus everything else uh, it's a lifetime kind of deal is 25 it's 2500 ringgit for life if not it would be like about 1700 per year so if you do five years it's about six i don't know about almost 10k uh, but now you're paying 2005 forever and as a bonus you can actually get a potentially make sorry get a return of 25,000 ringgit in the, in the in five years if you were to wow. do extremely well yeah so yeah, I think the potential there is good. So, uh, well, uh, for those people who are actually interested and would like to know more, um, just uh, put engage so we can actually, we will know that you're actually interested. If not, you can actually contact us privately. You can, talk, you can contact me privately. I'll get someone to put in uh, our email address and then you can actually uh, email us and we send you more details and give you more information. And again, this is a, a limited time kind of deal. Uh, our campaign with uh, my starter closed on closes on the 19th of October. Yeah. So we press you literally have 12 days left. I would say uh, 11 days left by the end of today. 
So um, at Quint, after this, if not, we won't be writing this deal anymore. Yeah, so I think that's all for me. I think I wouldn't want to take any more time. It's been uh, 15 minutes of a very nice Wednesday. Yeah. Very, very good presentation and a very great product. So I wish uh, those are people who are here, that if you have any friend that who run the uh, retail business, I think this is a very, very good solution because there's a lot of business out there actually they are not even aware of uh, this uh, product are available. And yeah. so some are still trying to come up with a manual way of a, a reward program. Right? They do not know that this one actually can use the apps to do it. Now is the best time to do it because um, just adding on a little bit, uh, to be very fair and honest, it is um, we Malaysians or, or so to say Southeast Asians are not very familiar with this kind of concept. Yeah, yeah. We are more of like, I pay this much, you give me this much. But yeah. the trend is coming in already. You see the bigger brands all going in already because they, they have consultation from outside, I mean, professional consultation. They know that you better get in this quick before you start losing out. So That's how, the reason. how you set up this kind of obstacle? I think most of the SME, maybe they would like to have this solution. Is it could be because they lack of knowledge? Uh, the awareness is not there or because of the short of manpower. I mean, compared with those a bigger company, they, I think they're already enjoying all this, uh, this uh, variety program, you know, yep. uh, to their customer. You know, yeah. Such as like Watson, my wife Correct. was shopping, you know, everywhere. I think the first thing he sees is, you know, how to use a reward, yeah. a payment gateway, grab, pay for goods or anything, yes. you name it. I mean, she knows how to use right. it. But right. there's, there's plenty of, uh, what do you call it, uh, small SME businesses. Mm -hmm. But, very, very few of them are using it. What, what would be the main reason? Well, um, well let's, let's just put it this way. Um, digital marketing started not too long in Malaysia. Oh. So we're still looking in terms of like acquiring customers. So now it's like, ah, just get customers in first. But what happens is that when you start putting customers in, your competitors are learning the same thing and they're yeah. doing the same thing. So imagine if more and more customers are doing the same thing, wouldn't, think it'd be more, wouldn't it be more difficult and more costlier for that mm. to happen? So when that happens, then are you doing anything to retain those customers that you have spent so much to acquire? So that's the goal here. So then we're talking about, actually 10 years ago, there were a lot of IT programs in Malaysia. But then it was more of like the old stamp stamp and that's it, one time monitoring yeah. kind of stuff. But now no, we're talking about, no, it's yeah, yeah. now it's talking about experience, the strategy behind it. Yeah. It's not just a one, it, it's a long time, it's a long, okay, my shop, mm. it took me, three, two months to see the same face again and again and again to build the relationship. Yeah. It's, uh, uh, but once you build it, they always come before they even walk in the shop, the app is really on their hand and they know what they want, they know what they want, yeah, they want yeah. to redeem. They already show you to, to, to scan me. Yeah, yeah, they're like, I'm here, I may as well collect something and then someone, they know they get different things because someone queue behind them, they get this one, this one they get something else. So we copied Starbucks class, like give, make okay. sure that every customer experience something different, not like a flat kind of uh, uh, reward system. Yep. Okay. Great product. Great product. I think thank you, know, you. Thank you. We need what less than uh, twelve days, I and mean, uh, everybody yep. should take pick up this opportunity to yep. share more to the fr uh, friends who are running the small businesses. Yes. Business. Yes. Yeah. I think you will do great. I mean, this is a great product. You know, one yep. of the, the best product I've ever seen. You know, for SME for retail business. Thank you, thank you. That means yeah. a lot. Yeah, wish you all the best. Yeah. All right, thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you so much, William. Thank you so much to all the attendees today. Yeah. Um, thank you for spending almost an hour with us. I yeah, hope everything sure. was clear. Uh, if not, uh, do let us know. We probably could drop you the deck or we probably could give you a call to actually explain further. All right, okay. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you, William. Have a good thank night, you, everybody. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you, thank you. Good to be here. Thank you. Thank you.